Rob, my friend, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. How are you? Uh, doing good, man. Good. How are you? Good. St- good. Awesome. So thanks so much for coming in. Um, thanks I think, for having me. Yeah. I think your role, the role of the lender in this process is uh, more important than the broker, the realtor, you name it in the process. It's all a convoluted, difficult process. But I think once the file gets to the lender, mm-hmm. I think the lender is a quarterback, and I think it's the most important role in the process, mostly like super pivotal. So I wanted to just bring you here today, uh, ask you some questions, uh, maybe it. educate some consumers. Tell me about the process. Tell me about uh, how you see the role as a lender. Mm-hmm. I, I see the role of, yeah, getting it done, getting the person into their house, getting them the keys to the home and getting them in, into the home on time. Yeah, absolutely. And deal with everything that can happen along the way. So let's talk about some of those a things. A lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, stuff of stuff can go wrong. Yep. So so let's give like maybe a, a couple of things. Let, let's first let's talk about the the pitfalls, right? I always mm-hmm. mention, um, you know, when it comes to the loan, don't screw with your credit, right? Mm-hmm. Like we don't want to be buying cars. Don't buy a brand new car. Right? Don't buy a car a week before closing. You know, do anything like that. Don't stop paying your bills. You know, like. If you're short on your down payment, sometimes people stop paying their bills to save up money to buy the house. That doesn't work. Yeah. No. So you can't skip things. No. Okay. Like so that. we don't want to be skipping things. We don't want to be applying for like my dad in the process mm-hmm. at one point applied for a store credit card mm-hmm. and that dinged him just enough points that it was. And it's like mm-hmm. consumers need to know this stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. You do that. Then we got to get, it can blow up. It can ruin the whole transaction. Kill Somebody will go buy $10,000 in furniture before their home, but there's no home to put it in because now your loan will be denied. Um, so the big, like the big advice on that is check, check with me, you know, check with, yes. you know, the loan officer first, you know, cause it'll depend on everything. But at the very least, when you do stuff like that, we got to get copies of the, the credits cause it won't report to the, uh, the credit bureau yet. It shows as an inquiry. Then we got to get the paperwork on it. Oh boy. Um, yeah. And then here comes contract extensions and you know, all these things that, and at the very least gets... it can delay everything. Yeah. So at the very least, nobody can likes that. And it can kill everything too. Kill right? everything. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want to be messing with our credit. What about no. assets? Yeah. Assets. Um, um, we got to show where every dollar comes from. Okay. okay. So it either has to be your funds. You can get a gift from a family member or a relative. Cash can't happen. You know, you just can't have $3,000. You can't have $600 in cash show up. You can have $10,000 in an account. Yep. Um, you only need $7,000 to close. But if you have, you know, $800 cash deposit, $600, we got to document like where it comes from. So nowadays, so the- you don't want to do that. So if you're even thinking ahead, if you have a whole bunch of money in your mattress, cash, things like that, get it in the bank. Okay. Plan ahead, get it in your bank 90 days before closing, because we sense. need to see your last two months bank statements. Got and it. they look at everything during that 60 days. So if you did it three bank statements ago, it's not there and it can go right through. So, so people, but basically these banks, they're documenting everything, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah. nobody's missing this, right? right. You nobody. can't pull a fast one nobody. on anybody, right? Nobody, nobody. This, nobody. this isn't 10 years ago and nobody can do some crazy loans no. aren't done anymore, no. right? And if somebody misses it, yeah, an underwriter, it gets, they get a material finding, they lose their job if they get so many of those. So yes. yeah, it's not something that just gets overlooked. So we got to keep our assets level. We got to yep. make sure we're not damaging or changing our credit. Right, we're jobs. Not skipping bills. Jobs, we don't want to change jobs. You know, want to change jobs that right. happens i had that a week before closing oh. you know somebody's making thirty thousand dollars a year they take a job making 38 they think it's a good thing you, you know you definitely yes. again you want to check before you do something like that so i think that the the number one thing i really like working with you because you're really good at communicating the process with a consumer with a buyer or a seller and it, what's so important to me is that communication process so it sounds like before you do almost anything in the loan process mm-hmm. Just talk check to Rob. Just, yeah, just check with me, run yes. everything by me, you know, and yeah, make sure that's what I do. That's that's my job. You've been, um, let's talk about that. You've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Too Hold long, on. about 25 years. 25 years. Yeah, so 20, you started when you were six. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, four. <laughs> yeah. Four, right? Right. But yeah, so that that's what I do. That's my job, my expertise. So yeah, any questions, any doubts, you know, you're not supposed to be the expert, the customer, you know. Right. Check. Check with me. So communication and, and, and is if you good. do screw and I like if you do screw up something, yeah, like you're not going to be able to hide anything. Right. You think you might, but there's all there's all these systems out there, all these things, and they find all this stuff. Yeah. So if something's off, just tell me up front. Yep. You know. Better I, off to, to be yeah, honest. I equate right? it that I'm your attorney, like you know, if uh, representing somebody that 
might have did something really wrong. You want to tell that person the whole truth so I know the whole story. And yes. hey, this is what this is how we go about either getting it done now or fixing it for the future so you can get a home. That's brilliant. So be honest, be upfront. Mm -hmm. They're going to do an autopsy, right? Yeah. They're going to go through the whole scenario. They're yes. going to look at all your credit, all your income, all your bank statements. Mm -hmm. all, nobody's doing these crazy loans anymore. No. Are you seeing that stuff anymore? Not no. happening, right? No. Not right. happening. Good. No. Uh, and, and, and don't be like, I mean, you have all these things, but it's also not that tough to get a loan. Right. You know, it's not that tough. You right. know, we don't want yeah, shouldn't scare. Yeah, people, yeah, right? yeah. Don't want to scare. But a lot of things can go wrong. But yeah, if you're, you know, straightforward up front, you know, it, they'll close, you know, there you go. basically 100 percent of the time. That's awesome. You know, where you won't run into. I don't think I think we've done now a couple dozen deals together. Mm -hmm. You've been our lender here at Trend. We really love working with you. And oh, I love it's working NFM with you Lending yep. is your company. You have a branch. You, you're ranked in the area yep. as like the top producer. You're like the man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Well, I congrats. Like yep, That's all good you. stuff. Um, yep. I think what it boils down to though is like you like what you do and you're love good it. at it. Love it. Yep. You're really good at it. Yep. Right. Can, after hours. Yeah. Last night, um, Jason from your office. Yeah, yeah. I was meeting his people, a UPS driver working all the time, 830 at night. There you go. Came in, went home at 10 o'clock. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the only time they could meet and we got to keep everything moving. So customer going. service so, is huge yeah. as well. Night, weekends, you know, you're out looking to get pre-approved. Yeah. On a Saturday. So yeah, that's, that's when people, they work during the week. Hopefully if you're going to buy a house yet, you're working and right. come the weekends, you know, yeah. You're available See, for that. All the time. Yeah. One, one other thing that I, I couldn't believe somebody, one of my agents had told me, he said, Rob went down on a weekend and met him like an hour away and i was like you gotta be kidding me yeah. so that Four level buyers, of, yeah, yeah oh, that's yeah. awesome yep. that's good, good. stuff yep. yeah so i'm i've really enjoyed working with you i think anybody who's coming with us uh with trend you're going to get a look at that file they're going to see your name come Appreciate across it. Yep. Um, if anything uh you could give advice to maybe an agent in the process mm -hmm. or a consumer what do you see as like a a faux pas that agents or consumers are doing. Obviously, we talked about the consumers with credit and mm -hmm. income and those kind of things. One faux pas I saw a couple times last year was agents were extending contracts but not extending the financing mm -hmm. contingency. Yes, you want to do that. Now your escrow's at risk, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you want to do that to protect, you know, the... Yeah, you, you want to protect yourself. So usually when you write a contract, say it's a 30-day financing contingency, it's something which means... Basically, if your loan's denied within 30 days or something happens, you get your money back. Well, a lot of these contracts, if they get extended out to 45 days, if you don't extend that financing contingency out, it doesn't close. You don't get your money back. Good point, right? Uh, another thing I've seen happen is um, when somebody's putting a large amount of cash down, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're, maybe they're getting a loan, but they're putting $200,000 down. And an appraisal might come in low. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily trigger the financing contingency. No. So in some instances, we want to have an inspection. I'm sorry, a, a, um, we want to make sure we have an appraisal contingency as well. Mm -hmm. When do you think that that's applicable? Like, obviously, if you're putting $5,000 down and it doesn't appraise by $5,000, the financing contingency is triggered. What do you think is like a rule of thumb when people are putting larger amounts down, maybe they're conventional? Uh, how often would you, see, would you want to see that in a contract? Um, basically, you know, pretty much all the time because you want to protect yourself. So, you know, if, if I was putting $100,000 down on the house and it appraises $10,000 less, I'm just... You're kind of SOL, right? Yeah. And yeah. I still don't know if I want to spend $10,000 more than something's worth. That's bro. Okay. You know? So any, no matter how much money I have, you know, yeah, we don't want to go in upside money. down. Right. Right. So yeah. we don't want to. So what we're saying is basically almost always when you know your consumer, your consumer, your customer is putting a lot of money down. We want to get that inspection. I'm sorry. The, um, the appraisal contingency in the contract as well. Mm -hmm. Huge. Correct. Yes. Huge. Yep. Beautiful. Um, you have a partner that you work with. Yep. Um, you guys have been doing this forever. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? over the course of your, your career here doing this, what do you think is the biggest misconception with people thinking, I can't get a loan? What, what is the problem there? Yeah, you can. Um, people are concerned they can. I, I wanted to, one of the things I was going to talk to you about is I'd say probably about 70% of the people up front can get a loan, wow. you know, be surprised. But last year, um, last year, the people that didn't, uh, those other 30%, 91% of those people Okay, within six months, I could have had financeable. Wow! By doing things, okay. Nine. So ninety-one percent of people of the turndowns of the turndowns could get financed within six months. Okay, if they'd listen and go on like a plan, like I have score simulators, like you don't have to go to credit count, um, credit repair companies. So you don't uh, have to spend thousands of dollars. No, don't spend because all they do is dispute transactions. That does you no good. So that, like if you go and apply for a mortgage and you have disputed accounts, the first thing I do is I have to remove all those disputes. Wow. 
Okay. Wow. So that does you so it no doesn't good. help at all. Right. And I can do it for free. Score simulators. Hey, if you pay this, if you got two thousand dollars to work with, if you pay this, if you do this, if you do this, you're set. You awesome. know, hey, I got nine thousand dollars in cash. You know, it's not in the bank. Great, put it in the bank, and we're going to revisit this in April. And a lot of people have that it's tragic. Oh, I got to wait four months. Well, you know, some if you're thirty years old, you never owned a house in your life. You can right. wait four more months yep. and get your house. That's right. You know, so it's not that. Yeah, it's one of those things. It can happen. And it's not it really that big of a deal. It's not, it, it's not a big cost to fix it, and it's not a big deal. So it, so 70% of the people can get a loan. They don't even Up know. Up front, right. And of the 30, you're getting 90-plus percent of people approved. Can within six months. Wow, that's yeah, huge. If they want to. So, that's yeah, huge. you're talking about a real small So a almost small everybody can get approved, mm -hmm. really. Correct, yes. Tell me a little bit about FHA, VA, some of the other programs you see right now in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. FHA is a big one. You know, you need three, three and a half percent down. Okay, like on the home, the seller can pay all your closing costs. Boom. Um, yeah, so perfect. You know, you buy a $200,000 house, you can get into it for six, $7,000, your income tax rebate refund. Now's a great time because the income tax refunds come in, you know, February, March, something like that. That's a like great that. idea. Yeah. You, you, you get into it at that time. And that's awesome. Yeah. Great stuff. And you know, a $200,000, you know, a misconception too is I can't afford it. Sure. Well, what's the cheapest you're going to get a two bedroom apartment for in Sarasota? <laughs> oh, thousands of dollars. Yeah. A Even, lot of them are two grand. Yeah. So a uh, $200,000 house with taxes and insurance, like everything's probably thir $1,200, $1,300 a month. Home run. You yeah. can't rent anything yeah. around here for yeah. that. Yeah. So, so call, call try and have them send you over $200,000 listings and compare yeah. that to an apartment. So, yeah. There you go. And the payment's less. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you're seeing people save money. Obviously, when you're buying a home, you can write off. Oh, well, I'm not a tax yeah. expert, but right. most people are writing off the interest. Principal and interest and the real estate taxes. Boom. Yep. So there's there could be not only a cash flow savings, mm -hmm. there's, there could also be an income tax savings there as well. Correct. That's awesome. Yep. Good. Um, so other than um, FHA conventional, what about jumbos? You do jumbos yeah. and that kind of Jumbo stuff? Jumbo loans, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Same, up to uh, yeah, $3 million. You've got all the products. All the products. NFM yep. does USDA, everything. USDA, yeah. If you're going to be um, east of I-75, 100% financing if your credit's good. Wow. You need $500 to buy a house. Wow. If you're east of I-75 with USDA. Wow. Yep. Yep. And, and, Seller uh, can pay the closing cost again, so... 500 bucks. Yeah. VA, you do VA loans as well? Uh, yep. Yeah, 100% financing, like, and those aren't geographically limited. You can anywhere. So you have basically the, the total toolkit, what anybody could need mm -hmm. as far as financing. You have all the loan products. Um, you've educated us mm -hmm. a little bit today on the process. Is there anything that you'd like to kind of put out there as, um, well, first of all, we're going to put your, uh, your email address, your phone number, your website, all that good stuff. Thank so, you. uh, we'll plug you there. Yep. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell consumers or, or myself as a broker agent? Yeah. One thing, just make sure you don't, if, when you're out looking with at homes with your agent, make sure you don't lose your dream home over like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. I see it happen a lot. Amen. A really nice house. There's multiple offers coming in, things like this. And somebody wanted to be at two hundred and five thousand, where like if they went two hundred seven, they could have got the house. Um, and a dip, for every one thousand dollars you borrow, it costs you about four dollars and seventy cents a month. So maybe so, skip one Starbucks, right? And so, get the house you yeah, want. Yeah. So you have a difference of five thousand would be twenty three bucks a month, and you have these people that are all in love with the house. They've been looking for six months. You find your dream home, mm -hmm. and then it's just this back and forth and over a little bit. And I see that happen, you know, three four times a month, especially with rates in the threes and fours. Yeah, right? basically close to um, probably like um, right now FHA between three and a half and three point seven five, depending wow. on your credit scores. That is unbelievable. Right. This is the cheapest money ever, right? Yes. So yeah, people yeah, need to near, take advantage near of this. the cheapest ever. Yes. I'm, I've never seen rates in the threes and stuff. No. I mean, this is incredible. It right? is. Yeah. Um, so people are out there looking at houses. You do a ton of loans, mm -hmm. right? Your volume yeah. is huge. Yeah. So have you seen anything in the last couple of years that shocked you? Um, well, after all this time, not too much shocks me. You know, <laughs> I, I have it all happen, you know, and everything like this. Yeah. Heard all the stories, you know, and all that. So yeah, don't ever yeah, be afraid to come with, come to me with anything. Okay, you know? so you're well-versed in the process. We've been working with you now for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough. No, you're such you. a wealth of knowledge. Uh, consumers, we're going to get you Rob's information. Uh, agents, if you haven't worked with Rob, work with him. The process is smooth. He makes it fun. He makes it uh, not stressful. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. Keep it nice the, and simple. Minimal stress. Yeah, minimal, st minimal stress. Yeah, but minimal yeah, stress. we'll get you in and get you in on time. And yeah. Awesome. Have a great, yeah.
I appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for coming out. Thank Rob you for Stettler, having me. NFM. He does a fantastic job. He's got all of my business, all my brokerage's business, and uh, you will not be disappointed. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Buddy. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Bye-bye.